You know, most people think time is something outside of them, ticking seconds on a clock. But in reality, time lives inside of you. Your perception of time changes with your chemistry, and that chemistry is ruled by your hormones. Let's start with dopamine, the molecule of anticipation. Every time you expect a reward, your brain releases a little burst of dopamine. It's what makes waiting feel longer when you're excited and what makes hours disappear when you're in flow. When you learn to regulate dopamine, not by chasing constant stimulation, but by directing it toward meaningful goals, you begin to stretch or compress time. You become the one who decides how long a moment lasts. Then there's serotonin, the chemical of presence and peace. When serotonin levels rise, the mind quiets. You stop rushing, you stop measuring time, you start feeling it. That's why gratitude, sunlight, or deep breathing make time feel abundant, because serotonin literally shifts your brain's clock into harmony. It anchors you in the now, where time expands. And then there's the tricky one, cortisol. It's the hormone of urgency and survival. When cortisol spikes, time feels like it's running out. Your mind rushes, minutes vanish, you lose access to flow. But when you calm the body, when you remind your nervous system that you are safe, cortisol lowers and suddenly time slows down again. You re-enter the driver's seat of your inner clock. So, mastering time isn't about managing minutes, it's about mastering your neurochemistry and your brain waves. When dopamine works for you, not against you, motivation flows. When serotonin rises, your awareness expands. When cortisol stabilizes, you reclaim control over the rhythm of your life. So time doesn't pass. You pass through time, sculpting its flow through your emotional and hormonal state. The more you align your inner chemistry with balance, joy, purpose, the more the outer world bends to match your internal timing. That's the true art of quantum time mastery.